hang on one second here. We're going live, Andrea. It says it, it's, says, it says we're live now. It says we're live. What do you yeah. think of that? I wonder if we have any live people out there today. Well, we might, or we might. Uh, hopefully, I wouldn't want we. Uh, I wouldn't want any dead people on there. Right. That wouldn't be so, any fun. Hey, um, we're tuning in today for Doctors Clinic with doctors and friends. We're hoping that you're having a great day. We are. And, That's right. Uh, I'm up here on the beach. You know, Andrea, that is so cool that you have a job. You can work from the beach from a lawn chair. Tell us a little bit about what you do. That's right. Oh, what do I do? Well, yeah. I, I advocate health to people and help them optimize their health. Optimize their health. Yes. I'm right. What if they're not healthy to begin with? Well, we have some natural solutions for them that they can look at the information and give it a try. Give it a try. There you go. Get better. Get better. Yeah. And then optimize. That's right. All right. All right. Well, I'll tell you what, Andrea, we're having kind of a sloppy day down here in North Dakota. We yeah, Last night, we had 80 mile an hour winds go through. And wow. And then we had uh, two inches of rain in an hour. Oh, I just got a little bleep on my phone that said we're going to have severe storms tomorrow night. So yeah. we had it our way. But what's nice is that it washed out all that smoke out of the air from, you know, that's been blowing down from those, uh, those wildfires in Canada. Uh. So you can see I got these bags under my eyes. I've been... I've been, sinuses are all stuffed up, breathing in all that smoke for the last four days. Oh, yeah, I, I believe it. My daughter was caught in three fires in California two years ago. That's right, I remember. Yeah, and it's caused her some ish, health issues um, with her eyes and stuff. Yeah. Well, you know, Andrea, as we're, as we're sitting here talking about health and we're talking about different uh, things that affect your health like that, um, you know, this morning you and I were talking uh, about what we should what we should discuss on the call this morning. That's right, and you came up with um, the hottest topics on health for 2019. The hottest topics, yeah. This came. This is this is an article. This is kind of a press release. It's not really an article. This is a press release that comes from um, the American Society for Nutrition. They had their annual convention in Baltimore just in June of this year. Yes, I, I read that article. Yeah, I thought it was kind of interesting. And so um, they're, they're, they're talking about what the hot topics are, highlights from Nutrition 2019. Now, it's amazing because it's all stuff we've been talking about. We must be it's, right on the right path. It really is. It's like, they, it's like they were listening to what you and I have been talking about here on the call and and started discussing it. You know, the first topic we talked about, it said, you are what your microbes eat. There's trillions of microbes in our digestive tract that play an important role in keeping us healthy and free from disease. And in this opening symposium, the experts talked about how, how diet influences your microbiome. Oh my goodness. How many times have we talked about that recently? Right. Isn't it the topic that we've had probably the most discussion on uh, of anything? Yeah. And it's not just us. All of a sudden, I'm seeing it everywhere. Everywhere. I think they are listening in to you and me. <laughs> That's right. We're trendsetters. <laughs> we are. <laughs> right. But even, even, the, um, even the American Medical Association had some information about it. And, and they said that the, the microbiome is uh is so so important so again listen to the to the to the headline you are what your microbes eat aha uh -huh. right what was the saying that we used to hear as kids uh you are what you eat you are what you eat right and 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 uh and then i used to hear you are what you don't uh get rid of right oh i've never heard that one but i believe it Right. And now they're saying you are what your microbes eat. So <clears throat> what they're basically saying 
is that the microbiome, the, the microorganisms in your, in your microbiome, they kind of influence all of your genetics. They influence your DNA, the expression of your DNA. Wow. See how so, important that is? So what, what, what thing have we been talking about lately that really affects the microbiome? Glyphosate. Glyphosate. Yeah, as far as as far as things in the environment, right? Right. It has a negative influence on it. And then we've been talking about folic acid. Right. That has a positive influence. It has a positive influence on it because what uh, folic acid does is it creates an environment. It creates a place where the uh, where the healthy uh, bacteria can thrive. You know, I just. My brain's coming up with an analogy here. If you think of your gut biome as um, a field for crops or a garden, and you're putting insecticides and fungicides and all that stuff in it, right? Then you ruin the soil. You're getting that stuff in your plants you're growing. Yeah. And if you're instead putting compost in, which is really what folic acid is, it's like a billion year old compost. You're putting compost in, you're enriching the soil, and then you get healthy plants. So there you go. Like that. Yeah, that's exactly that's exactly it, um, Andrea. And then what happens is is that the the microbiome, the healthy bacteria, they make up the the uh, semi permeable membrane so they get to decide what nutrients come in what nutrients come out wow that's important yeah. then yeah so very very important and uh, and so so that's that's that was one of the topics then their next topic i'm just reading this on my phone as i'm going the next topic was on fat it said fat from foe to friend and it says ketogenic and other high fat diets are popular but are they good for you I just got a text and I got to read around it. Um, so it says, esteemed researchers present the science behind the diets and lead an audience discussion on the controversial topic. You know what? About three years ago, uh, ketosis, keto diet, all of that became the hottest topic in the meta metabolic medical field. Yeah. Like all of the um, conferences they were having, <laughs> this was their topic. That's what they were talking about. Yeah. The big, the big fat lie. The fat. The fat big fat lie. lie. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because back in the in the sixties, um, they decided that they wanted to. They wanted to. Uh, uh, well, they. I think that they 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 wanted sugar to be um, thought of as a health food. Right. So they started putting the blame on fat. They were saying that that's why we were fat. But if you watch old movies from the from the sick uh, fifties and sixties, there wasn't a lot of obese people in those movies. No. no, not at all. In fact, I just posted a photo from probably the sixties based on the dress code I saw, and um, there wasn't one obese person in the crowd. It was a whole crowded beach. Really. Not one obese person. Just try to walk in any store today and look around and see if you see a hundred people without having obese people in it. Yeah, but do you remember that ad? It was kind of a it was kind of a um, a cartoonish type of an ad, and it and it and it said, "Are are you the skinny? Are you the skinny man on the beach?" And and then it showed some big muscular guy sand right. the skinny guy's face. Right, I remember, remember that. You remember the ad? Do you know what it was for? Do you remember what it was for? No, I don't. Sugar. Sugar. <laughs> Get your right? domino sugar, right? <laughs> but the, but they, they've made fat the culprit for years, and now all of a sudden they're finding out that, that yes, yeah, certain fats are really bad for us. Yes. But just like there's, there's healthy carbs, there's healthy fats, and the ones that come from nature, um, a lot of them are healthy for us. Full of nutrition. Full of nutrition. And, and so then the next topic was the health effects of cannabis. How about that? Yeah, state legalization has expanded access to cannabis for medical and recreational purposes and created a rapidly expanding market for food products containing marijuana and hemp derivatives. 
With a focus on nutrition-related ex issues, experts will discuss the impact of cannabis on appetite, energy balance, neurodevelopment, as well as challenges of cannabis in the food supply. Yes, you and I have talked uh, quite a few times this spring and summer about our body having a whole endocannabinoid system with receptors for cannabinoids, you know, and and you don't just get cannabinoids from the marijuana plant that everybody is concerned about, but you get it from hemp. You get it from other things too, peppers and, and different things like that. So, um, you know, we're designed to use these cannabinoids to balance our body back into health, back into homeostasis. That's right. Yeah, they're saying there's they're saying uh, uh, certain cannabinoids are actually um, they work like neurotransmitters in your body. So they yeah. they they move chemical messages from your brain to your body and um, so so uh, healthy for you. That's important. And uh, we just came out with a government approved. Um, CBD hemp extract oil. Yeah. Yeah. So tell us a little bit about this, the sizzle uh, 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 hemp oil. Well, they took their time. They went out to um, contract with an organic farmer. They went out and tested the soil where he grows hemp uh, to make sure that it was clean and pure, you know, to live up to the standards of sizzle products. And they took their time and went through all the government processing to get it government approved. And then they went out and got third party research done on it so that what is on our label is actually in our product, unlike about 80% of the CBD products on the market. That's right. Yeah, so many of the products, I think what they do is they, they saw the, the farm bill that passed earlier this year. And they said, oh, we got to jump into the market. So now you got all those, you know, all the people who have been um, getting high since the 60s, you know, the potheads, all of a sudden they, they see it as a way of capitalizing on a market. And so they're making products, you know, they're making stuff in their bathroom, in their kitchen, and they're throwing it on the market. And, uh, and they're, they're finding that most of these products don't contain any of the um, oils that they say they do. Right. And that, well, then you have companies, too, that are hopping on it because it's a hot topic. And look at when we went on our um, tour, how many gas stations did we see a big sign out front says CBD oil here? I mean, I'm not going to go buy a product. I'm going to put my body at a gas station, you know, that should be a pharmaceutical grade product. That's right. And now we have a new product out in, revolving around the hemp. Tell us about that. I don't know much about it. They just popped it out last week. It's CBD. Yeah, last week they came out with a, a CBD. Lotion. Yeah, a, a lotion that um, you rub it into the joints where you have an achy joint and it concentrates the CBD oil right into that joint and or into that affected body part. And it, it helps to uh, relieve pain and, and tension and stress and all of that. Yeah, I already saw people responding with testimonies about how it was working for them. Yeah, and we're using the same um, we're using the same CBD oil that that we have in our in our regular CBD oil. We're just putting it into a lotion. And mm -hmm. so, when you're looking at the the Sizzle Safe CBD oil, what's uh, what's uh, nice about it? It's a full spectrum. And full yes. spectrum is important because uh, they're finding that every piece of the plant, every little piece, every little oil has a benefit and right. they all work together synergistically so if you try and take one out it's not going to be as effective yeah you know i've heard people talking about it before and they go well we've got the a in it and we've got the b in it and we've got this and that in it and it's like, you gotta have the whole thing you've got to have the whole thing you know and then we have high potency we have 1500 milligrams uh, in a bottle so you're getting 25 milligrams per dose right. and most of these oils that you get on the market, you know, I started buying CBD oil about four years ago and, and the CBD oils that I was buying, it had five milligrams per dose. Uh, I don't think that's quite enough. You know, there's something to be said about getting an effective dose. Yeah. And, 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 and what I found was, is that none of them actually worked. And so I wasn't getting any benefit from it. So when Sizzle came out with their CBD oil, um, you know, I was a little skeptical. I wasn't, I wasn't, uh, I wasn't really, uh, 
hip to it because I thought, man, I tried CBD oil. They didn't really do much for me. And, uh, and lo and behold, I got my bottle and I, it, it showed up at six o'clock at night. I had, uh, I'd been working in the yard all day. So I was a little sore and I took the product and uh, immediately I got results. Yes. You know, and you, you said something there that I think we should bring up, but you know, just because our company comes out with a product doesn't mean that we automatically jump on the bandwagon about that product. But you know what happens in the end? We find out it's the best of the best. That's right. That's right. So we have so we have a great product. So then uh, the next topic is that they talked about at this this nutrition conference was what is the role of animal source of foods in in good nutrition? So I was just reading an article earlier before I before we decide decided on this as a topic, and they were saying that that. Um, a plant-based diet, it's really hard to get your EPA, DHA out of a plant-based diet. Did you know that? Well, could you explain what that is? So EPA, DHA, um, what they are is those are healthy fats that come from fish oil. And what if, you, what if you don't eat fish? So you don't have to eat fish. It's in, it's in, it's in our capsules, in our products. Okay. But they're saying that it's hard to get EPA, DHA um, from a plant-based diet. Um, there, you know, I mean, sure, you can get EPA from flaxseed oil. You can get EPA, from, you know, from certain uh, certain uh, plants. But it's just not the same as what they're saying. And EPA is is the is the, the oil that comes in fish oil that gets rid of inflammation. <laughs> and we're finding that inflammation is a uh, is one of the, the primary components of almost any chronic disease. Last week, you and I talked about chronic disease. What can you do to lower your risk of chronic disease? Well, fish oil is on the top of the list. And, uh, and uh, you know, um, in, our, in our fish oil, we have, uh, we have a variety of different oils. We don't just have the EPA, DHA. We've got the omega-3s, we got the omega-5s, we've got omega-7s, right? Right, all in a combination for you. Yep, and uh, and then on top of it, we call it Super Omega Plus. And what's the plus part? Oh, I forgot. You forgot CoQ10. You told me last week. <laughs> you lay on the beach and the sun has melted your brain. What's up, Andrea? <laughs> That's right. Right, and CoQ10 is an enzyme that we need. Um, it's, it's for cardiovascular health. Right. I won't get into it any more about CoQ10 about oh, a month ago on a call, and you were explaining that much of the CoQ10 on the market is really CoQ9, I believe, which is not really the real deal. That's right. And then they're saying they're saying that vitamin vitamin D, vitamin D is hard to get from a plant based diet. Uh huh. You know, while you're out there soaking up sunshine, getting lots of vitamin D, activating your vitamin D. It's hard to get that from a plant-based diet, but you can get it from animal fat. Um, and, and again, talking about healthy fats. And then uh, uh, they're, they're talking about uh, vitamin D12. It's hard to get from a plant-based diet. Yeah. So, um, so that that's what they talk about. So really, um, so what they're saying here is foods from animals provide essential micronutrients and some believe improving access to these foods would reduce global micronutrient deficiencies. Wow. They're saying animal, animal food is, is what we need. They said the U.S. and other countries have witnessed a decline in meat and dairy consumption due to various factors, including reports of the environmental impact of animal ag agriculture. And so the symposium will tackle complex questions on the, on the place of animal source foods and sustainable diet. And so they're, they're basically saying that they're finding out that a plant-based diet really isn't the healthiest diet. Right, because there's other things you need. We were designed to eat what God provided, in my opinion. Yeah. The next topic they talked about was, should the degree of food processing 
influence what we eat. So they're, they're, they went on to say a new public health nutrition strategy advocates for classifying foods based on the degree of processing and recommends avoiding foods defined as ultra processed. Well, isn't that what we've been talking about? When more than half of energy intake in the U.S. coming from ultra processed food is a policy to avoid them feasible. Are these foods inherently less healthy? Well, of course they are. We process the nutrition out of them. Uh, how should lifestyle factors such as decline in home cooking be considered? What is the relationship between processed foods and obesity? So these and other questions will be will be answered at the symposium. Yeah, like so many things there. Half of our food energy comes from processed foods. That's that's really high. You know, and they trick us too. They they sneak things into the food and they give it a different name so you don't know sometimes what you are eating. You that's know? right. And so the fact that they're going to maybe come up with some kind of rating system for that would be great. Yeah. So they're yeah. going to grade it. So you can tell, you know, they might put like, you know, five stars on a food that that's, doesn't have any processing and, and one star on a food that's, that's you know, processed the, the heck out of it, right? And so they're saying that we should all start cooking in our kitchens again. Good I idea. Agree. You know what? It's so much of... Um, the population eats out so often and what what's really sad is um you know so many times families are just like it's pizza and it's mcdonald's it's pizza and it's mcdonald's and oh, let me go buy you a 12 pack of mountain dew you know for the kids and when you want to talk about obesity there's a huge obesity problem with youth in this country that's right yeah so they're not getting their nutrition and you know, I used to uh, live in Florida, and we ate out very often. And anymore, it's like I can cook much better food at home very quickly than I can get in a restaurant and pay a lot of money for it. Yeah. Yeah, I, you know, there was a period of time in my life after my divorce, and I ate out quite a bit. But, you know, now now I, I, I eat at home almost all the time. Well, heck, I got 700 pounds of meat in the freezer. If I go right. out, it's because I'm stupid. Well, the only time I usually go out is like if I've just been working all day and I just don't feel like cooking and I go out and grab something. Um, or if you're traveling, you know. That's right. Right. And then, you know, so when we're when we're relating this over to what our, our, our primary goal is, is to relate it to sizzle product. You know, Spectrum X is such an important product and Encompass 360 because we are deficient on, on nutrition. Even if you try and cook good, if you try and cook healthy in your, in your own kitchen, you're going to be missing key nutrients. And yes. one Linus Pauling that said that, that chronic disease is caused by lack, lack of, of minerals. Yeah, That's right. And so what product do we have that's just jam packed with, with nutrition and, and, and mineral? Spectrumax. Spectrumax. Right, 40 antioxidants, 74 trace minerals, just a great product for those of you that are listening to the call. Um, that's a great product. That's one that you should be on. It should be it should be on the top of your list. I remember I was sitting with Tom Senior on his deck one day out at out at the mountain cabin, and I asked him. I said, you know, if you had if you had fifty dollars and that's all you had in your pocket to spend on nutrition, what product would you buy? Out of the complete lineup of products that Sizzle had, what product would you buy? And I, I thought he was going to say Fucoidin, you know, or Eternity, because at that time, those were kind of my my two favorite products that I talked to people about a lot. And he, and he said Spectrumax. And I'm like, really? And so he told me the story of Spectrumax, why it's so, so important, because you just aren't getting that, that nutrition. He said that when they make that product, um, because of all the vitamins and minerals that are found in it, it uh, it's, it's one of those lost leader type products that they have that they really don't make a lot of a lot of uh, profit off of it because of the cost of making the product because of all the nutrition that goes into it. Yeah, wow. And then Compass 360 just, just complements that. You know, I don't know if it was, what, two weeks ago? We were maybe three weeks ago. We were talking about the, the Journal of the American Medical Association, and they said that they said that that it was uh, prudent for every American to be taking a, a good multivitamin. Right. 
Right. Yeah, we talked about that. Yeah, a couple of weeks ago, how the soil's deficient. We don't get any of the vitamins and minerals that we even got 40 years ago. That's right. And so that was that was his favorite product before the age pill, and now the age pill, of course, is way up here, and the hydrogen water is way up here. Here's the last topic that that we talked about at this nutritional conference: a focus on adolescent nutrition, and also a great deal of nutrition research of pregnancy and early childhood. Adolescence is the key time for establishing diet and other lifestyle habits, right? So we shouldn't be teaching kids to be drinking Mountain Dew for breakfast. And the cross-disciplinary session will examine the unique nutritional needs and challenges of adolescents tackling from that are quite different in industrialized versus low and middle income countries. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, and I mean, even when I was a teenager, you know, what did we like to eat? We'd like to grab French fries, and I mean, I had a home cooked meal almost every single night. But you know, that was like high on the priority list, just getting you know burgers and fries and things like that. It was like it was almost a treat, but that's what we went for. That's what we were interested in eating, you know. And even when my kids were younger. Um, I just learned a, a product that I sold way back in 1979 that was a household staple almost, um, was made and had high uh, chemical content, toxic content in it. And I, I posted that the other day and said, sorry, kids, I didn't know about toxins back then. Right. <laughs> but, you know, I didn't know about nutrition like I do now, too. And I would have totally fed my children a lot different than I am, you know, than I did. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, so all the stuff that we ate 20 years ago is coming back to haunt us now. Right. You know, they say even cancer, cancer starts growing in you a lot of times 20 years before you ever even know that you have it. Yeah. So you got a lot of time to do really good stuff to get rid of it because your body can overcome that. That's right. I was talking to, I was talking to a, a lady yesterday and, and, and her mom was diagnosed with cancer. And she said, well, what, what can we do about it? And I said, well, first thing we have to do is we have to, you know, be honest. We can't say cure. We can't say treat, you know, nutritional products don't cure anything. They don't treat anything, but what they do is they optimize health. You know, at the beginning of this call, I asked Andrea, um, you know, what, what does she do here? She gets to hang out on the beach and she's working. And I said, what are you doing? Andrea, what was your answer? Optimizing, helping people to optimize their health. Optimize their health. And, and fantastic products. That's right. And so when you start looking like at products that Sizzle has, we've got a product called uh, Fucoidin. And Fucoidin, it's, in, it's made from an extract of brown seaweed. And they found that in relationship to cancer, it does something that's called anti-angiogenesis. And what that really means is it cuts off the blood supply to tumors. And we, we're exposed to cancer cells every single day in our life, no matter who you are. But if, they, if the cancer cells don't set root, if they don't connect to anything, they can't cause cancer. It can't cause cancerous growth. Right. And, and, and so by cutting off the blood supply to these tumors, you got to believe it's going to be good. And, and oh. so I'm telling her about that. And then I was talking to her about, about um, fulvic acid. And, and we were, I was talking to her about Body Shield because Body Shield is our product that has fulvic acid. What other product has fulvic acid? Well, it also removes toxins from the body. That's right. And toxins are a high contributor to that condition. Yeah. So fulvic acid is considered to be one of the miracle molecules. It goes in the cell and it grabs the toxins out, pulls them out, but at the same time it's pushing good nutrition in. So it's moving the good stuff in, it's pulling the bad stuff out. And uh, you better believe that's going to be healthy for you. Exactly you what they need. Yeah. And then it creates that, that healthy microbiome. Um, like Andrea said, it's like having a healthy soil that you can grow your plants in, that you can grow your garden so you have a good crop. And, and, and so it creates that, that environment. And so very, very important. So, uh, you know, Andrea... I think that when you when when you when you look at the topics in nutrition, 
they must be following us around and following the school around and just going, hey, these guys got a great product here. You know, let's talk about it. And, uh, and, and so we're right up there in the top. And that's why, that's why I like working with, with this company. That's why I like working with Sizzle. You know, do we have everything? Do not. There's not going to be any company in the world that's going to have everything. But the products that we do have, they're way up here. They're exceptional, for sure. That's right. And everybody should be on them. You know, Andrea, if, if you go on a, on a vacation and you could only take three products with you, what products would you take? Uh, well, I'm on vacation right now. I have Age Pill, I have Body Shield, and I have Cocoidin. That's the three products that you took. Plus, I'm sure you have more. But Yep, I do. But those would be the three that you take, yeah. And then are you are you using um, are you using the the uh, uh, oh, Actify? The what? Actify. Skincare. Actify. Oh, I use Transfusium. Okay, I like using Actify when I'm out in the sun because it has a really good SPF factor. Oh, good to know. Yeah, so I use that. I find that 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 way I don't have to put on the toxic sunscreens. Uh huh. You know, I'm uh, pretty much a professional sunburner, right? I'm a redhead. <laughs> a professional sunburner. I'm, I'm currently at this lake that I've been coming to for close to 60 years and got burnt here as a child dozens and dozens of times, like a lobster. And I don't. I quit using sunscreen last year, and I'll tell you what happened. Um, you know, I work outside a lot, like in the summer. I'm always building something or gardening, stuff like that. And I just decided I wasn't going to wear sunblock anymore. So I, um, you know, I'd go out and work, and I'd, you know, try to stay in the shade and protect myself somewhat. But you still, there are days that you get burnt. And what I noticed is when I get burnt, it doesn't hurt. And it also like repairs itself overnight. You know why? Why I think it is? I think it's from the age pill. Yeah. Well, th that's one of the studies that came out on nicotinamide riboside, which is one of the ingredients in, in the age pill. Nicotinamide riboside actually uh, repairs uh, uh, damage from UVA rays. Awesome. You know, because, um, and my skin improvement was one of the first signs i saw after taking the age pill that's right yep yeah yeah the age pill i mean it's got nicotinamide mononucleotide it's got nicotinamide riboside it's got uh, uh nicotinaminic acid it's got these different um uh, uh, vitamins and nutrients that help your cells so that it, it creates more nad and nad is the primary source of of, of energy for the cell <laughs> and then um, the cell can repair itself. So when you cause damage, you've got something that will repair that damage. Well, it seems to be working for me. There you go. Yeah, you're looking younger, and uh, that's that's important because if you're going to live another if you're going to live another fifty years, you don't want to look another fifty years older, do you? Oh no, I don't. There you go. All right. I'm getting younger and younger. Younger and younger. Pretty soon it'll you'll be the same age as your girls. Yeah, I'll be the same age as you. <laughs> there you go. All right. Well, Andrea, I know we've we've gone over time a little bit. I'm gonna let you close up the call. You know, folks, thanks for sticking with us today and and finding about this. Uh, I I find it fascinating that uh, that you know the hot topics in nutrition are the same things that that Andrea and I talk about every single week. And uh, and so you know it, it's not coincidence that um, that we're uh, we're on track. The company's on track because um, we're trying to we're trying to make your life easier. We're trying to make your health healthier. And when you get to be a hundred years, we're going to try and help us with you know, about good health. So I'm going to hand it over to you. Have a great day. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you. You know, thank you guys for um, joining us. Thank you, Doc, for always being on here on Tuesday. You know, we do like to share good health information, and I don't know if anybody else has heard about it. I know many people know about it, but if you go out and walk with your bare feet on the ground, it's called grounding. And you actually get your body reconnected to the Earth's magnetic core, and it relieves pain symptoms in your body. So after I've been out working in the garden and stuff, you know, during the day, I'm usually my feet are sore and my knees are sore and different things like that. And 
um, not only do I use my sizzle products, but I go out and walk around barefoot for 15 minutes and feel much better. So I thought today the gentle lapping of my lake would give you guys a little peace and tranquility while you listen to us. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a great day. All right, bye-bye.